All right, so what is up everybody out there? Richard Hoffer here. Um, I've created a very simple test or demonstration today that has actually worked. So yeah, I wanna share it with you guys. Um, and as you read in the title, it's about the end safe room of a chapter leading to a randomly selected level. It's still from a set of levels, but it just gets randomly picked, so. Um, it's very easy. Obviously, for the test, I had to create a uh, functional map with navmesh um, from the beginning to the end. And as you can see in the end, uh, say from here, <coughs> I have three ch trigger change levels, all with a different name, and they all have a different map selected. So you can see right here. Uh, but they all share the same landmark, obviously. And now it's very simple. They, oh, and they're also all, they also all start disabled. This is very important. Um, so I've created this very simple logic here that at the beginning of the new map, um, I know I should create on multi new round as well, but there's a bug on multiplayer games like half, like Left 4 Dead 2, I, I, I think. Um, it's been ages since I tested this actually, but uh, there's a bug on multiplayer games where on multi new map outputs also get triggered when a new round starts, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, as you can see, they all get disabled in, uh, as well, the, um, just as a check, even if they should be disabled, just to check if they just, just, bleh, just to do it again. And then we have the case picking of the random free cases. Uh, they it will trigger one of the relays. So, and in each one of the relays, it triggers, uh, it enables one of the trigger change levels. Now, obviously, every time a new round starts or the map gets loaded, it gets re picked randomly which relay, um, which relay will be triggered, and therefore which trigger change level will be enabled. Now, this is actually a um, very easy, simple system, works well, it's it's uh, good to create like branching paths or create different versions of a map, like one where it can have the hot rain storm or the next map could be in night or it could be in day whatever else um, so yeah this is just very simple what I wanted to show you um, the VMF is available to download uh, don't forget to download uh, to put the nav file the navigation mesh file in your maps folder of your left for the two directory of course um, or else you will have to go through the hassle to create your own nav mesh but that su sucks ass, so yeah, um, have fun.